The Admissions and Disciplinary Committee says it was not for it to adjudicate on whether the decision to accept the plea was correct, but that it saw no evidence that it was outside the range of decisions properly available to a Director of Public Prosecutions. It states that given its statutory remit, it's plainly not the place for the complainants to obtain the answers or legal remedies they appear to seek in relation to that decision. The family had accused the DPP of bullying and of aggressive and coercive conduct at meetings. This was, however, contradicted by witnesses, with the committee saying it accepts the meetings would, because of their sensitive nature, have been particularly difficult for all involved. The second part of the complaint was that Christian Troca had misrepresented the strength of the prosecution case in order to get the family's agreement to the lesser manslaughter charge. This relied on new photographic evidence and on the possibility that the deceased's daughter could have been asked to give evidence. The Director of Public Prosecutions allegedly also put forward the possibility that Real Lishman could pursue an argument on abuse of process and get away without a trial or conviction. The committee unanimously found Mr. Roca did not mislead or misrepresent the position of the family so as to proceed with a plea for manslaughter and that the family willingly, if reluctantly, agreed to the change of plea. It finds that there was no duress, coercion or bullying of any sort, even if the family may have come to regret its decision later. The family now has a right to appeal the decision within 30 days.